You know what I've been hearing way too much lately? Todd, you're in a mood a lot. I'm in a mood. I guess we all know what it means to be in a mood, right? If you're a parent, then your kids are often walking around in a mood, which ends up putting you in a mood. That's what I mean by a mood. But without reason, do you ever just find yourself in a mood? Like when someone says, oh, he's in a mood, which I hear way too often. <laughs> Throughout the day, you're going to be in some kind of a mood, whether happy or sad or blasé. Now, if you had the choice, what mood would you rather be in? A good mood or a bad one? You know what annoys me? <laughs> Besides many things, when people say, I don't need a reason to be in a good mood. That's the problem about people in a good mood. They take the liberty to be in a good mood whether something good happened or not. Ugh, how annoying is that? Well, I don't need a reason to be in a bad mood. But the reason I like being in a bad mood is because there always is a reason behind a bad mood. Being in a good mood, you don't always really have a reason. You could be going along having a very blah day. Maybe nothing went wrong that day. So for no reason at all, you're in a good mood. You know, like someone says, wow, you're in a good mood. What are you so happy about? Oh, no real reason. Talk about uncommittal. You're even admitting you really have no reason to be in a good mood. Because nothing really good happened. But me, I like reasons, I like answers. I want a reason to be in a mood. And if those reasons always lead me to a bad mood, then that's what I want. A bad mood. Because I'm real. You know how you recognize a real person? He's walking around in a bad mood. I can answer why I'm in a bad mood. I can't always answer why I'm in a good mood. I can see or say or do something really good and still be in a bad mood. Maybe while doing something good, like scratching my itchy I overextended my finger and hurt it. Or when I told someone something good, like, it felt so good to scratch my itchy But that numbskull I was telling didn't even listen to me because he was too interested in his own mood. Those types of things put me in a bad mood. Now that I have a reason to be in that bad mood, I like it. The ability to justify my bad mood makes me happy. So getting in a bad mood can actually put me in a good mood. That's right. A bad mood actually makes me feel good and puts me in a good mood. Why? Because now I have a reason to be in a good mood. So if you want to feel happy and be in a good mood, get in a bad mood. Find something that pisses you off. And then when you realize how good you feel feeling bad, you'll feel great. See you next time.